We often hear from people that you can't make money making films, uh, short films, feature films. Is there a way to make money from it? Or is that not, that shouldn't be your goal starting out? Well, so I do think that you can make money from the film industry. I mean, clearly people make millions of dollars. These, there are some beautiful houses in LA that was built on film money. I do think you, that you can make money from a film. I think what a lot of times um, filmmakers initially do, even with a short film, is they forget to pay themselves. And so what I've started to do, even in a line item of a, a film that I've invested my own money in, I still will put $1 for myself. And it's to continue to train myself to realize that I do have a monetary value that is attached to who I am and what I do. But what I think also oftentimes that filmmakers do is, and this is what they should do, whenever you're putting a budget together for a feature film, you have to also think about the life of what that film is going to be, right? So if you're gonna live with that film for six months, you also need to make sure that your expenses are covered for six months. So part of your budget, when you're establishing your budget, should be to have money to pay you as a director to live for those six months. Um, that's one of the things that I, techniques that I didn't do very early on, but now I actually absolutely I'm like, was this a two month process? I need two months of this kind of money from the budget, and so I state that up front. And also, one thing that I would also say that I think filmmakers should absolutely do is say what you need as well, right? Because we always speak from a place of just talking about the project, making sure the project we want to make sure the project has the right camera, we wanna make sure it has the right light and the right location, the right actors, but the project comes from a person. So you also have to make sure you as a person has what you need to be okay as well. And so whenever I talk to filmmakers, I preach that from the very beginning, make sure that you pay yourself as a part of the process. But as far as the film's um, ability to be monetized and to make money, there are people whose job is to do that. And you should go find those people and make sure that you get in contact with those people to make that happen. Because it's not our job to make the money, it's our job to create the product. And make the money after it's out or get paid up front? Well, I think a filmmaker should definitely get paid up front for their fees. I think they should also negotiate um, some type of ownership in the project as well. However, whatever you get initially, whatever that initial sale is on your film is all the money that you will get. Like period, point blank. I have not heard of a film doing amazing at the box office and then a filmmaker making millions with certain level of ownership. So you also have to come at it from a very realistic place as well. Um, so that's what I would advise somebody to do. Get, you should be a line item in the budget you should own some of your product, but that initial sale, you should benefit from that as well. That initial distribution sale, that's where you're gonna get your money. You're not gonna get no more money after that. Can you give us some examples of ways you've been able to make money with films or stage plays? Sure. So uh, primarily how I've been able to make my money over the past three years have been in short form digital content. And so one of the ways that you can do it is you figure out what networks are actually looking for uh, from time frame to um, um, what specifically has to be inside the frame. And so I end up making Brooklyn Blue Sky for about um, $7,500. I got another small investment on the back end to do some editing. And then I was able to send those projects over to BET as I knew BET was starting to look for um, digital content because we were initially going to just put it on the internet. But we started working with this producer named Chris Hicks and he was like, no, like BET is actively looking for content. So we were able to license the content at uh, a pretty nice rate per episode. And so that was able to pay the budget back, but then because I had ownership in the series, I was able to use that money to live off of for an entire year. Um, I also was able to do that with Sauce, um, the project with that as well, except they gave us a big budget from the very beginning and we negotiated a larger budget. And then we just held some of that money back for me to actually get paid in order to do what I needed to do um, later on down the line. So if you make a project for a little bit amount of money, but you're able to get a larger licensing fee, that'll be able to give you some actual um, revenue that you're able to, to create along the way. 
So mostly it's been short form content. It's been short form content because people are looking to fill up those content avenues and the content arenas. Also, I've been able to start working recently, start working with different brands who are looking to create content as well, short form digital content, because that's of course my specialty. And from that, you can also make money as well because a lot of brands are looking for their stories to be told in a very linear digital way. And so you're able to utilize that as well, different brands work with them in order to create stories and um, you can make money off that as well. And did those brands approach you or you were already working with someone who was working with those brands? So I actually approached the brands, believe it or not. Um, sometimes an empty mouth just doesn't get fed. So I would put together a small package. Um, I did it for a wine company. I did it for another um, um, liquor company. I said, hey, I make short form content. This is what my views have been. Um, combined with your talent and your resources, it could be much more. And this is a story idea that I have for you. And here's how we would do it. And this is what it would look like. And two of those brands um, picked up on it. And that's another way that I'm able to use my storytelling abilities in order to, um, to make money. And did you research which brands you should go after? Did you say, I think I would be right for this one or? So with um, one liquor brand, I had a friend that worked in that field. So I already had a direct connect. And then the other one was a connect through uh, a manager that I had and she was able to connect me over to them and I was able to pitch it. But I know in the next year or so, that's when I'll be working on a little bit more. That'll be a separate side of my production company where we actually really start to churn those different types of projects out. And um, how do you contact those people? Do you send an email, like oh, just a quick pitch? Or? Mm -hmm. You can do uh, a quick pitch. A lot of times a deck, some type of visual deck for them to be able to see really works. A lot of times people don't know what they want until they actually, you show them what they want and then it makes sense. And also you're able to create something at a much lower price point than even they're able to make commercials at. So they look at you and they're like, oh, this only costs 250,000. We get eight episodes at 10 minutes a piece, as opposed to them putting $1.2 million into a commercial that's 30 seconds long. And so it is an attractive um, bid for a brand to be able to create content because they have the budgets to be able to put more content and everybody's into storytelling right now. So they have the money to be able to put those things out there. And so are you, once you have the budget, then you're finding the talent or they already have people in mind? So I manage the projects as, as they're my own projects um, with taking advisement from them. A lot of times brands don't necessarily have talent because it's a very new thing to use brands in order to tell stories. So it could be a story about a guy who needs to find his dog and the brand could be about dog food. So yeah, they may have like an idea or two, but most of the time for me, what I've seen is they just allow me to go out there and to procure the talent to create and to make the production.